Anthropic has just announced that you can now use Claude code with their pro plan. So that's the $20 a month plan that gives you access to all the Claude 4 models, which are the best AI software development models created to date. And it gets even better because you can hook up Claude code with cursor. So in this video, I'll show you how to do that. I'll also show you how to build with Claude code. At the end, we'll go through all the different options you have to pay for Claude code and which subscription is the best for you, which will get the best bang for your buck. All right, let's get into it. And I'll put the instructions on how to install Claude code in the description of the video. So I won't waste your time with that. If you just put in Claude here in my project, now it's gonna bring up Claude code. And the first important question it asks you is, do you wanna set up an account with a subscription, a monthly subscription, or do you wanna do it with API usage billing? I'll explain in more detail these three options at the end and what's probably the best for you. For now, we're just gonna choose the Claude account subscription. And this $20 a month for pro, it being included with Claude code, that's the new thing here. And then if you don't already have a paid subscription, at this point, you're gonna to have to buy one to keep using Claude code. And for everything I'm gonna show you today, I'm gonna to use the pro plan. Okay, so now that we're all authenticated and logged in, next is we wanna hook up our IDE, or in this case, cursor, with our Claude account to make it interactive. This usually just works by default, but sometimes it doesn't. And the way to check is if you go slash IDE here, in this case, now it shows me cursor and none. But when I first started, I just saw none. It said there was no cursor installed. And the way you fix that problem if you come across it, and I'll put a note about this in the description, is you have to find the Claude Code extension here, uh, right click on it and say install extension VSIX. And after that happens, if you go to your extensions, you're gonna see Claude Code now. So when you see Claude Code, then you're, you know you're good there. So now that we have Claude Code hooked up with cursor, Let's see what we can actually build with it. So I was talking to someone the other day and they mentioned that they have something on their website that shows customers where they can find their retail locations because they sell both the retail like brick and mortar stores and e-commerce. And they said they're paying like 20 bucks a month for something like this. It's actually pretty simple. It's just a bunch of locations on a map and then has a sidebar here where you can kind of get more information about the location. This is something perfect that we could try to build with AI. It's not too complicated and it really serves a useful purpose. So I started on it using OpenAI's O3 model, but it was really frustrating. And I'm not happy at all with the look and feel of the application. And it's got a whole bunch of bugs. So let's jump back into Cursor and see how Claude Code with Sonnet 4 can fix it and make it a really nice application. So now in Claude Code, it's actually aware of what file you're editing right now. So you see here, it says in storelocator.html. So this application is fairly simple. It's just a store locator. And then if I click up on the locations, this is all the locations I have set up. And now it says in locations.json. So let's go back to store locator. What this means is you don't have to say at what file you're trying to edit. You can just, it just automatically detects it now, which is really nice. So we can just put in our prompt from here because we're already in store locator. And then I'm just going to say a really open-ended prompt. I'm going to say enhance the look, feel, and styling of this application. And also look into functionality and refactor it as you see fit. And I say, for example, have more information on the sidebar items. That's one thing I really didn't like about the original application. And one thing I noticed right away is that Claude code with Claude Sonnet 4 is much faster than it was before. So it's making up this checklist of items that's gonna enhance right away. And it's just generally just much more responsive, much quicker. And now because again, because we have the integration with cursor and with Claude code, it actually visually shows us the diff. So the comparison between what our old code was and the new code. So right here is doing some enhanced styling. So the ones in red here is things that's taking out or moving from the code. And then things on the right and green here, these are what it's adding in. And you can actually go like change by change and say approve or reject. See that you have a check mark at the top for approve and then go back to reject that change. So in this case, I'm gonna trust the changes. So I'm gonna choose here uh, yes to make the edits and also don't ask me again for this session. So now it's kind of more an agent mode where it's just gonna be able to do all the changes automatically. And I really like how Cloud Code creates these checklists and then marks them off. Before you used to have to maybe ask the AI to create a markdown file with checkboxes and come back to it every time. This seems to work much better and Cloud Code keeps track of its checklists and marks them off as it goes, keeps giving me updates. It's really good. So now it's done as changes. And one thing I really like about Claude 4 is at the end of it, it gives you a really nice summary, but it's very concise and to the point exactly what it changed. And it did a lot of changes here in that for that one shot. Like it's added store category badges, distance from user's location when available, 
clickable phone numbers, website link, enhanced address display. It's also smooth the animations and transitions which was something that really didn't work well before. But I really like this summary and it's much better than I was getting when I was doing it with O3 before. It was giving me really long, complicated answers where I just want a summary of what you did. If you're really into AI software development like me, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter, the AI Unleashed News. It's the first link in the description and I hope to see you there. Okay, let me refresh this thing and just see how it looks now. All right, well, this looks much better right off the get-go. I like how it's added in the website, adding more information on these side panels. Scrolling looks much better. It's not jerky like it was before. I like how you select one and it actually selects it over here and marks it as a current location. It also added this really nice feature, totally unprompted, where you can filter the different types of stores you're looking for. The top bar is much nicer. You can say, find me, and it'll, it'll ask for your current location. So it actually works now. It's all in all lots of big changes and really good changes. I wish I started using Claude 4 right from the start. And then in terms of which way to use Claude code is right for you, there's four different options. And I'll kind of go through them each so you can see which one would probably fit you the best. So the first one would be the Pro Plan, which is the one I showed today. It's 20 bucks a month, that's US dollars. And the usage is about 45 messages for every five hours. This would be perfect for if you're like a business owner or someone more casual user who wants to get into it. And also someone who works for short periods and then takes you know a few hours off. I'm kind of like that. I like to do an hour of work and then do something else for a while. So it might be actually be fine for you just using the pro plan. So considering the quality that's giving you, this is like the best AI coding experience I've had so far to date. So for 20 bucks a month, this is actually a pretty good plan. Next would be the max plan for 100 and then you get 225 messages for every five hours. So you get quite a bit more usage in those five hour windows. And so that plan plus the max 20 plan would be 200 bucks a month. Those are more for high usage situations. Like if you code all day long and you're using this all day long, you know, that's when you start looking at something like this. API credits is you just pay as you go. So if you saw those in when I was coding there, the token kept going up and up every time I have a prompt in there and every time it's coding something for me. So you basically just pay for every one of those tokens per use. To be honest, I find this one kind of stressful because I, I feel like I'm in there and I, if I screw something up or I get down the wrong path, I've wasted all those tokens, I've wasted all that money. I'm more of a subscription plan guy myself, but this is certainly an option. But yeah, the big, the big game changer recently was this just in the last few days is they let the pro plan work with Cloud Code and they gave you these 45 messages per five hours. So that was a really exciting announcement actually, and it made it accessible to so many more people. And of course you could you know, try it out for on the pro plan for a while, and if it's not enough for you, just upgrade to the max plan. I'm really blown away by Claude Code and the Claude 4 models, and I'm gonna do lots more videos coming up on it. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. For example, I'm gonna do one coming up on building a Shopify app with Claude Code and Claude 4. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'll talk to you in the next one.